small signal dynamic behavior of a voltage feedback operational amplifier. So we can use um, net network elements, Laplace blocks for in SPICE. And uh, we are going to model, and, and, and of course, just normal elements like capacitors and inductors and resistors. We are going to model the differential mode input impedance, the common mode input impedance, the output impedance, and the voltage transfer. And here is such a model. And since it's a small signal dynamic model, it is, of course, all elements are linear because it's a linearized model. So basically, you could say this if, if you have the input capacitance, the common mode input capacitance, so you can just short the two nodes and measure the capacitance to ground, then this is half of the common mode input capacitance and this is half of the input capacitance. And if you have the differential mode input capacitance, well, you measure the, the capacitance between the two nodes and there are two methods. You could say, I put current in here and I measure the current in there, but then also current will be flowing through this one and that's what this term does. But you can also measure the transfer only through this impedance by shorting this, and then this term would vanish. It really depends on how the uh, manufacturer defines the uh, common mode and the differential mode input quantities. Here's the voltage transfer, a voltage controlled voltage source, and an output impedance. So this is the and this is the return path. So this is usually the thing. Here we can use some polynomial expression for this thing. And uh, for first order, so only one pole and a gain bandwidth product, we can say the transfer is, you call the DC gain and S tau, which is one pole such that the product of the DC gain and the frequency of the pole is the gain bandwidth product. So that's why you have tau and equals AO divided by two pi. GB because GB is in Hertz. Unfortunately, the output impedance of operational amplifiers is seldom specified in the data sheets. For some it is, and if it is not specified and you have a load which is very high impedance, then maybe it's not so important. But if you have a load that may be a large capacitance then it becomes important and this is always a difficult issue and then you need to have it specified um, and maybe you can check if it is modeled in the in the in the uh, macro model um, but unfortunately specifications are seldom complete so for a current feedback operational amplifier uh, it's completely different. You have the input impedance from non-inverting input to ground specified, the transconductance of an input stage, the output impedance, and the trans impedance of an output stage. It's a kind of two-stage op-amp, and it looks like this, the equivalent model. So here is the uh, input impedance, <coughs> uh, input admittance uh, differential. Here is some, some transconductance figure it's from the data sheet and here is a trans impedance figure a z which is also in the data sheet so again you have these poles and zeros in the in this transfer and um, uh, first order you can say the expression will be like this we are mostly going to use voltage feedback operational amplifiers but there are examples in the book with current feedback operational amplifiers, so you, you can see how to use this in practical situations. Well, this is the most important uh, I want to show you about the modeling of operational amplifiers.